Well, this is crazy. Let's go speak to So. This is nuts. This is insane. How can she look like Iris, but she's been dead for 10 years? She looks exactly like Iris does now, but she did that when Iris was eight and didn't look like Iris looks now. <laughs> Mizuki and Ota kept searching for Iris, but unfortunately they didn't turn up anything. Iris's whereabouts are still unknown. I'm worried about her, but without any leads, we'd just be looking for her blindly. Man, I am so glad I did this route second. I've said this before, but I really, really, truly believe that this should be done second. The, the, and when I say second, I mean the whole right-hand side of the timeline. Like, I feel like getting to know the characters more in the left-hand side, which were more, like, regular murder mystery, without any huge, like, twisty-turny bits, or at least not as much as this, I feel like that was a much better primer to then get into the more crazy side of things on this half of the timeline. And, like, you now know the characters much better and care about them more for when you get to this stuff. I don't know, I feel like the left-hand side really should be done first, which I did, so I'm very glad. I should focus on the investigation for now. It would feel like such a weird thing to go from all this nutty stuff to then, if you did this first, to then go to the left-hand side and start, like, helping Ota's mum with her dementia and stuff. It would just feel like a really weird step back, I feel like, if you did that second. It will eventually lead me to Iris, I'm sure of it. Sorry, what will? I missed the... Without any leads... Oh, I should focus on the investigation, yeah. With that in mind, I headed to So's mansion. Hello, I fuckhead. I you, never to show your face here again. Question. I didn't come here for Shoko today. I didn't come here for Iris either. Instead, I'm here for a girl who looks like Iris. Did you kill her? Date, look. I knew it. You killed her, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. I've had enough of your shit, Congressman! You wanted to check on the body of the girl you killed. That's why you were at the cold storage warehouse two days ago. Okay. Why did he leave her out on the table? Where is Renju Okiura? Hmm. Why would he leave her out on the table? I was gonna say maybe he could... He was trying to pretend that Iris got killed and then he'd kidnap Iris. And then... I don't know what the plan after that would be, but like, he wants the rest of the world to think Iris is dead, but like, we instantly identified that the corpse is 10 years old, so that wouldn't make any sense because it would have immediately been proven to not be Iris, so I don't know. You know where he is, don't you? You were at an Okiura fishery warehouse for a reason. There's definitely a connection between you two. And that's not all. Number 89 called your secretary. The same number 89 that Renju escaped with. Now tell me, where is Renju? Also, help me God, I'm gonna kneecap ya. Suddenly a gang of bodyguards stormed out of the mansion. In an instant, they surrounded me. <clears throat> We'd like to ask you to please leave. I'm interrogating a suspect, you dumb motherfucker. What, and we actually just left? Okay. Damn it, so! There's nothing we can do. We did arrive without a warrant. We were technically trespassing. If he had called the police, we would be in a predicament. We would have been detained immediately. Who would look after Iris then? Do you intend to leave your responsibility with Mizuki and Ota? Ah! I mean, Mizuki, sure, she's responsible. Ota. Calm down, Date. <laughs> we still have our lead. Lead? Before I explain, we need to discuss the corpse in the cold storage warehouse. Let's give her a name. Because she is frozen solid, we could call her All Ice or Alice. What do you think? <laughs> sure. Alice and Iris. I believe it fits nicely. All right, Alice. What about her? Someone might be able to identify her. Who? 
Hitomi? Allow me to ask you three questions. Like, if she looks the same as Iris, she's got to be Hitomi's, like, secret kid or something, right? But then, how would... If Iris was eight, then, she would know if she had a sister. Again with this? First question. You have seen this corpse more than twice. Three times, in fact. When was the first time? When was the first time we saw the frozen corpse? Oh, I don't fucking remember. Uh, two days ago? That was the second time. When my body was out of commission and you went to the warehouse on your own. I'm not talking about then. Oh, in the Somnium. I'm talking about the very first time. Three days ago. Saturday night when I synced at Abyss. Yes, in the Somnium world. We saw the frozen corpse of a girl. Question two. Who is the girl? Uh... Alice? Now I know. That girl was probably Alice. Most likely, yes. So we have technically known Alice for three days. One last thing. The final question. In which Somnium did we see Alice? Uh... It was Mizuki's, wasn't it? Was it Mizuki? Why would Mizuki have seen that? My roommate, Mizuki Okiura. It's really weird that he calls her his roommate. It's basically your daughter. Like, not actually, but basically. Exactly. So you how did Mizuki see that? Mizuki's somnium being some kind of prophecy. But prophecies are nonsense. Dreams are not made of the future. They are made from the past. Therefore... Mizuki has seen Alice before. There is no other explanation. Aiba, where is Mizuki now? Where we went with Iris yesterday. The Kume Shrine. The Shrine? Why would she be there? Unknown. But Mizuki is fucking 12. So if she'd seen Alice... Oh, well, no. It means she saw her when she was dead. I was going to say, if it happened 10 years ago, Alice would have been... Like, Mizuki would have been 2. But she means she's seen the corpse. She is supposed to be looking for Iris. Okay, let's go. All right, Mizuki, what the fuck, dude? Dude, why would you not tell me this, dude? Ikume Shrine. Date. Bruh. Did you find Iris? If I did, I would have told you already. Right. What are you doing here? Iris used to like this shrine. She told me about all her memories here. We used to come here all the time. You know those steps in the front? We would sit there together and talk about things. Like what gluten-free means and eyelash extensions and aerial yoga. And we would talk about all our problems together. Sometimes we would talk late into the night. So I thought that maybe she'd be here. But it looks like I was wrong. Okay, where's Ota? I think he's searching Akihabara right now. Last time he checked in, he said he didn't have anything. And where's Renju? I think Iris is with Renju. With Daddy? Yeah. Her note mentioned her most trusted person. That's probably Renju. Yeah. I remember that mermaid girl saying something like that. He was looking for Iris. Does that mean that <laughs> wow, we really called for Iris? <laughs> we really needed that flashback. Thank you so much. <laughs> Could be. So I need to know where he is. But I haven't been able to get a hold of him. So, about Alice. Mizuki, I have something very important to ask you. I told Mizuki about the frozen corpse we called Alice. You've seen her before, haven't you? Three days ago, I saw her in your Somnium. The body of a girl who looks like Iris, Alice. Your dreams are built from your memories. So that corpse... Mizuki, please answer me. Iris's life is at stake. Huh? What do you mean? I told Mizuki everything. About how Renju ran off with the Assassin 89. 
how 89 is connected to Sosajima. And that Sajima is linked to Alice's murder. I need to know everything about Alice. If I find out who she is, I might be able to solve the mystery of Renju and number 89. And that might lead me to Iris. Mizuki looked down at her feet quietly. I could see agony in her face. The silence lingered. Finally, she steeled herself, lifted her head, and spoke. Okay, I'll tell you about Alice. It was about a month ago. I saw my daddy crying in the president's office at Lemniscape. I was peeking through a crack in the door so he didn't see me. Daddy got up, then got into his car and drove away. I had never seen him like that before. I was curious, so I followed him in a taxi. That led me to the cold storage warehouse. He got out of his car and went inside. I followed right behind him. Quietly. Daddy was standing next to the forklift in the back. I hid behind the shelf. I watched Daddy open the hood of the forklift, and then, after a little bit, he left. I wanted to know what he was looking at. I went over to the forklift, and I looked under the hood myself. And then... You saw Alice's dead body. But at the time, I thought it was Iris. Why didn't you call the police? What was I supposed to do? C call the police? Daddy would have been in trouble. Yeah. It looked like he just murdered your friend. So you kept quiet this whole time? Yeah. Man, she's smart sometimes, but sometimes she can be dumb as fuck. What? Like, I get family loyalty. But, like, I don't think that stretches as far as murdering your... Like, when a family member seems to murder your bestie. Like, maybe that's the point where you go, mm, I think fuck family loyalty at that point, you know? <laughs> like, you've killed my best friend, Dad, kind of thing. What do you mean? I couldn't just ask. It would have changed everything. I thought that as long as I stayed quiet, everything would be okay. I didn't see a dead body. I wasn't even at the warehouse. I repeated that to myself over and over and tried to forget the whole thing. Repressed memories are often the subject of Somnia. That's why Alice showed up during the sink. Okay, what did you do? The corpse looked exactly like Iris. I couldn't believe she was dead. I just couldn't. It's just so weird. I just don't understand how, could she, how she could look exactly like Iris when she died 10 years ago. So they knew what Iris would look like in 10 years. Like, how does that, how? So I went to Iris's house. Huh? What's wrong, Mizuki? Iris was alive. I thought I was going crazy or dreaming. I tried to convince myself that it was just a hallucination. I actually met with one of the higher-ups at Daddy's company last night, before I went to Matsushita Diner. Why? Because you asked about the cold storage. I was curious. I asked around some, and... I found out that Daddy was managing the warehouse before I was born. After my grandpa died, Daddy took over. In exchange for managing the warehouse, he gave ownership of the company to someone else. I guess he didn't want to let this place go. Or maybe he couldn't let it go. That's more accurate, I think. But I understand why. Inside that warehouse was... Alice. Hmm. On paper, Daddy has nothing to do with Okiura Fishery. Daddy was still managing the warehouse. And he was the only one allowed in there, too. That was part of the agreement when he gave up the company, and the whole thing had to be a secret. He really stressed that point. How long was he managing it? Hey, Mizuki, how long was he managing the warehouse? For 18 years. That's what the man told me. 18 years? From that long ago? And Iris is 18. Yes. Hmm. Iba. I need an emergency search. 
Missing persons from 18 years ago. Understood. Huh? Date, I found her. The girl who looks like Iris. What's her name? Monica Ewai. 19 years old at the time of her disappearance. A graduate of a Toku high school. What? Renju was my classmate at Eitoku High. Huh. We've known each other for 20 years now. When I was young, I... I lost someone very important to me. When did she tell us that? What's that background? Is that at the warehouse? When did, when did we speak to her at the warehouse? Monica Ui, my best friend. One of the only friends I had. Alice's... Monica. Huh. I'm struggling to remember having that conversation. It told me his friend who went to the same school as her and Renju. But why? Monica's body was found just now. But even back then, Hitomi knew. She knew that Monica was already dead. Aiba, where is Hitomi right now? At headquarters for questioning. MPD still believes that the body they discovered was Iris. Got it. Contact boss. Have them bring Hitomi to Abyss. Roger that. Alright. I'm really... I cannot remember having that conversation. But it had to have been in this timeline, obviously. When did it happen? Why am I not remembering it? Hmm. You're awfully calm. You saw the corpse of your daughter today. You were called into the station to confirm her identity. And yet here you are, cool as a cucumber, even though you lost your precious daughter. Shall I guess why? Information on Manaka. Uh, I mean, all of them. Because that body isn't Iris, and you know it. Are you serious? Yes. Her name is Monica Ewai. She was killed when she was 19. She went to the same high school as you, and she was your best friend. Isn't that right? Nothing to say for yourself? Hiding something? Maybe you killed her with Renju. That's ridiculous. Oh, now you're talking. But we know Renju committed a crime. Illegally disposing of a body. And we can prove it. Uh... Where she was found? The cold storage warehouse where the body was found. It's been managed by Renju Okiura for almost two decades now. And witness testimony proves that he knew about the corpse there. And if I'm not mistaken, you knew about the corpse too, Hitomi. You and Renju have been close since high school. It's not too much of a stretch to think that he told you about the body. And I remember you telling me once. When I was young, I... I lost someone very important to me. Monica Ui, my best friend. One of the only friends I had. How did you know that she was dead? I didn't. Don't play dumb. I know you're hiding something. You know what happened 18 years ago. And you knew she was pregnant. You were her best friend. Of course you would have known. Tell me. Tell me everything. Date, she's not going to talk. Sink with her. Knew that was coming. Nobody leaves this fucking interrogation room without sinking. Unless they escape like 89. <laughs> but everyone else, if you get in the interrogation room, Date, you get in the chair. I'm sure I've told you enough times by now, but... Please, come back within six minutes. I can't promise you that, Pewter. What do you mean? I mean I'm not coming back until I find something. Date, you can't! Why not? You know why! Because it will take over my consciousness? Yes! But if it's only a little... No, not even a little! If the sink passes the critical point, the damage will be irreparable! But what does that mean exactly? No fucking answer for me? Like, we already did pass the critical point, right? With... Mizuki's. Wasn't it? 
Was it Mizuki's? Are you two hiding oh. something? No. I already passed the critical point six years ago. Is that what you're hiding? I'm not hiding anything. Huh. Who did we sync with six years ago that passed the critical point? Is that why? Huh. Hmm. No, that's not the same thing. Um, I was going to say, is that why we lost our eye? And... Uh, Iris... Like, at the end of Iris' route, she lost her eye while she was in the Somnium, and nobody mentioned it, but, like... I was wondering if you could, if that's, like, a side effect, that your eye can just, like, be destroyed or something? That doesn't make much sense. I don't know. And we didn't even pass the critical point with her anyway, so... Then let's try it. Let's experiment with my mind. Then we'll know for sure what'll happen. Ugh, fine. I'll just say it. Yeah? Pewter, tell him. <laughs> I'll just say it. No, I won't. <laughs> Me? You know more about it than I do. <sighs> well... Are we not doing it? Listen? Ask Pewter. He knows more about it than I... Okay. What happens after six minutes? Well... First off, six minutes is not a hard limit. It could be seven or even eight. I don't care about the exact time. I'm asking what happens if you go beyond the limit. Do you remember the story I told you about the egg? Yeah, why? If you imagine an egg as your consciousness, the Yolk is what goes into the subject's brain. The white remains inside your shell. If you go beyond the limit, your yolk will not be able to return to its shell. Because the subject's mind will start to take over the sinker's consciousness, right? I know that part already. Indeed. But there's more to it. After the yolk is devoured, the egg white is brought through the machine next. Huh? And there's more. It's not just the sinker's brain. The same process eventually occurs in the subjects as well. In other words, the entire egg ends up being replaced. Mind, consciousness, memory, they are traded. Switched. Traded? Oh no! So it's not that- oh fuck. It's not that you, like, die or some shit. It's that your two minds get put in the alternate bodies. And Renju has a fucking sync machine. Which means literally anyone connected to him. So, like, on that side of things, like, Renju, 89, Sosajima. Like, a bunch of people tied into the, like, the bad side of things here. Any of them could have switched bodies. Because they have a sync machine. Huh. The human brain has what can be understood as a memory limit. It's literally just a body swap. It's literally a body one swap. One brain can only hold one consciousness. What if everyone who dies... Oh my god, what if that is a perfect way to murder someone? That is that is actually the perfect way to murder someone. You swap bodies into their body and then you kill your own body, which you are no longer in. You're now in the other person's body. And so everyone thinks that you are dead but you have actually jumped into their body and murdered them. But nobody knows that they are dead because, as far as they can tell, they're still walking around. But it's actually you that has jumped into them. Could that be? That's insane. That could actually be. Shoko could have jumped into someone else's body. I don't know. Someone's. Renju's or whatever. 
jumped into his body. He's now in hers. She then kills him. I don't know why she would. That's the question, I guess. Why? What, what, what would instigate it? She then kills him. And we found Shoko tied up on the merry-go-round, but it was actually Renji that was dead, and Shoko's been here all this time. Potentially. And that would explain... why Ren is being a bit of a dick. Because the Ren, as far as we knew, well, he's, he's not great, but he's not like a complete tool, right? But recently, it seems like Ren's been a complete tool. And Shoko's a complete tool. That would be insane, man. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't believe we're actually doing a body swap story. This isn't just theory either. Like, some of the things, like the government organizations and the AI from across the universe and all that shit, like, some of that is just, like, theory. But this is, this is the science guy telling us that this is how it works. Body swapping is a thing. And it can only contain one person's memories. Now you know everything. Talk to the boss. Why'd you keep this I a secret? I aware of this as well. This information is not on any accessible databases. We had to prevent the possibility that the system could be exploited. Exploited? But... Even if it wasn't you, someone else might try. We didn't tell any sinkers this, including you. A Project Sink is a top secret project. It's a matter of national security. Yeah, well, you probably should have tried a bit harder to get back the one you fucking lost then. The fucking proto sink Even machine. Even sinkers are on a need-to-know basis. Think about it. What if you were kidnapped by bad people who tried to make you talk? Bad people? A criminal organization, spies from another country, those people. If you blabbed about Project Sink, the entire country might be at risk. You heard it from Pewter. The sink machine isn't just for entering a person's somnium. It can also be used to swap bodies between two people. Imagine what this machine would be used for in the wrong hands. Yeah, I just did imagine. That's why I didn't tell you. We can't let this secret get out. What if everyone we saw died? Everyone we saw that died was not that person. What if it's Shoko jumping between lots of bodies? What well, in the original timeline... It was Shoko that died first, then Renju died, then Iris died, and then So died, but that was potentially Boss? Huh. So we'd say Sh Soko, Shoko, this is like complete fucking spitboiling here, but Shoko jumps into Ren's body, Ren is now in Shoko's. Shoko kills her original body, kills Ren. Shoko is now in Ren's body. Shoko then swaps into Iris's body, kills Ren. Shoko is now in Iris. And both Ren and Shoko's bodies are dead. Body and soul. And Iris is dead. Iris's soul is dead. And Shoko is now in Iris. And then... But Iris was killed by Polar Bear, which was so. So maybe then... I don't know. Did she jump into So at that point and then kill Iris? I don't know. This, like, this is nuts. This could be... That could be, like, somewhat close to the truth. That could be so far away from the truth. But, like, there's so many possibilities <laughs> with a body swap story. Fuck, man. Can you imagine, like, finding this out early? Again, I am... This is insane that you could find this out really early on in the playthrough. And then you're going through all the rest of the left-hand stuff with this knowledge? This this definitely is something you should be finding out late in the game. Swapping bodies between two people? I can't believe they let you find this out early. Trading minds? <sighs> Like, I genuinely cannot believe. <laughs> Are you listening to me? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Are you really okay? I'm fine. Start it. Understood. 
Let us begin. Pack it up, pack it in. Let us begin. That is so mad. That is so insane. What the fuck? God? <laughs> I am the God of Fire. I burn erotic books with my flames of red hot anger. Why does your nose look like a fucking light bulb? It looks like you've got some yellow clown nose on. I how ruthless. Ow. Are you okay? That hurt. I'll let you read this porno mag if it'll make you feel better. I will burn. Oh my it. god. Darth the fog please. is making it pitch black. The clown nose has returned. The yellow clown nose. The light over there. Is that a firefly? No, I just told you it's a clown nose. <laughs> Somnium scan. Activate. Alrighty. Sinking in the mountain. Reveal Hitomi's secret buried deep inside. It disappeared? No, wait. It might still be nearby. Alrighty. Light it up, 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 light it up, 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 light it up, 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 I'm on fire. What have we got in here? SSR. Super rare, super, super rare. Iber's electric shock. Charged right into Date's brain. Uh, Isis and Iris. Greek mythology. Scander. Buddhist religion, Hindu god, aerial yoga, floating in the air, show no mercy, part of Ota's inspirational speech that he totally came up with on his own promise. Gluten free, everyone knows what that is. Stage four, yeah. Wine, this is most definitely not a real saying in France. Mass hysteria. A mental illness in which pe a person's delusions are rapidly transmitted to others. During a sink, if the subject is under a delusion, that same delusion could be spread to the mind of the sinker. This may be why Date is so eager to believe Iris. Right, okay. Delirium, Osiris' resurrection. Uh, he wasn't all there. One of Iris' body parts was eaten by a fish. It was his penis. Osiris was resurrected without a dick. Poor guy. Yeah, that, uh, that's unfortunate. Mafia. Holy shit, there's so much. What? <laughs> shoulder to shoulder to be united as one. Uh, main branch careers. Yeah. Eyelash extensions. Everyone knows what that is. Single edge sharp object. Everyone, everyone knows what that is. Heart to heart. Yes. Rothschild. Family at the center of many conspiracy theories. Rockefeller. Another family. Many of center of many conspiracy theories. Uh, it would appear on the surface that Rothschilds and Rockefellers hold opposing views, but some conspiracy theories believe they are actually operating at the whim of some higher authority. <laughs> Both families have been the subject of lawsuits claiming that they are bent on world domination. Cool. And let's take a quick look at the new art we got. Don't know why she's on her hands and knees. Very nice. Very nice. 
That is the mermaid and the receptionist. That's a cool one. Love that. What a shot. That's the best shot so far. Iris concept art, very cute. And I guess early, even earlier Iris concept art? Because she doesn't really look like this. This is much more finished. This is much more what she looks like. Whereas this looks much rougher and the face shape isn't quite the same and the hairstyle and stuff. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Right. Well, that is it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more I, The Somnium Files. Thanks for watching. See you then.